For extractions of metals, in our syllabus, we will only discuss extractions of sodium and extractions of aluminium. Eh? Okay, extractions of potassium, calcium, and magnesium. Eh? Uh, we won't discuss this. We only discuss extractions of sodium and aluminium. Okay, so let's start with uh, extractions of sodium. Eh? Okay. So this is the illustrations of the uh, setup eh? or the industrial uh, setup to extract sodium. So from here, we can see that uh, first uh, we need to know where is the electrodes, uh, which one is the electrodes, okay? Okay, now this one, this one uh, is the positive electrodes, okay? This is the positive electrodes and uh, these two are the negative electrodes. So we have positive electrodes and negative electrodes here. And then the second thing is uh, we need to know what is the raw material used in this process. So if you want to extract sodium, eh, so uh, for sure, we must use a compound of sodium. And the compound of sodium that we use uh, in industry is uh, sodium chloride. Sodium chloride. Eh? So what is the raw material used in this process? Sodium chloride, okay? Or let me see the notes. Uh. Oh, it's here, okay? So it's given here. So the raw material here we use is sodium chloride. Eh? Sodium chloride is the table salt. And the salt that you eat every day, that's sodium chloride, right? Okay, that's sodium chloride. Eh? So the raw material that we use is sodium chloride. Uh, so let's write here, sodium chloride. Eh? Okay, sodium chloride or NaCl. Eh? So this is the raw materials that we use. Eh? Sodium chloride, okay, electrolyte we must, for, for electrolyte we must heat it until it melts. Eh? Okay, so it's a molten, uh, molten sodium chloride. And for molten sodium chloride, eh? okay, sodium chloride, if you heat it, okay, then it will uh, melt and form sodium ion and chloride ions. I would like you to write these equations in your notes. Eh? So write your, the equations here. Okay, electrolyte molten sodium chloride. Eh? Okay, I want you to write the equations here. So sodium chloride is heated. Uh, maybe we should put a triangle here. Okay, so that it's heated. And it melt and form sodium ions and chloride ions. Okay. Can we use sodium oxide? Theoretically, yes, you can use sodium oxide, but in industry, we do not use sodium oxide. It's because uh, in nature, the sodium chloride is abundant. Uh, we can get the sodium chloride easily from uh, sea, because the sodium chloride is sea salt. Because in industry, you must consider the cost as well. But uh, chemically, you can use uh, sodium oxide, okay? But in industry, we, don't, we do not use sodium oxide. Uh, this one is, is the applications of electrolysis in industry, eh? okay? So in industry, we use sodium chloride. That is the raw materials that we use in the extractions of sodium. So in extractions of sodium, sodium chloride is used as a raw material and uh, this is the image of uh, sodium chloride. Eh? Okay, it's a salt. And uh, the sodium chloride is heated until it melts and the molten sodium chloride act, act as electrolytes of the electrolysis process. That's the first question okay, that usually asked in exam. Uh, they will ask you what are the electrolyte or what are the raw materials that we use uh, in extractions of sodium. The second question may be asked is about the electrodes. Uh. Just now I have shown you, okay, this and these are the negative electrodes and these are the positive electrodes. But uh, in exam, they may ask you what are the material used as the electrodes. Uh. Okay, what are the material used as the electrodes? The cathode, uh, the negative electrode, uh, the cathodes, uh, uh, we use iron. Okay, iron is used as the cathodes. Uh, you must remember this, eh? because in exam they may ask you, eh? okay, what are the uh, materials used as the cathodes eh? in extractions of sodium? We use iron, eh? ions, and then so that's for cathode. Eh? For anode, okay, for anode is graphite. Eh? Graphite is carbon. You need to know that. Uh, graphite is carbon. So graphite is used as anode, and iron is used as cathode. And make sure that you remember this, eh? okay? Okay, now during electrolysis, eh, what happens? Ele during electrolysis of sodium chloride, eh, what happens, eh? okay? So when melted, eh, the sodium chloride forms sodium ions and chloride ions. As I showed you just now, right, from the equations, eh, if you heat sodium chloride and it melts, eh, it will form sodium ions and chloride ions, which is free to move. Eh? Uh, so the sodium chloride, this is an arrow, okay? So when it's heated, then it will form sodium ions and chloride ions. The sodium ions will move towards the cathode. The cathode is a negative electrode. Huh? So the sodium ion carry positive charge, so it will move to the 
cathode, which is a negative terminal. Okay, so the sodium moves to the cathode, sodium moves to the cathode. Eh? The chloride ions, okay, this chloride ion, it will move to the anode, eh, which is positive electrodes. So if you heat sodium chloride, it melts and forms free moving sodium and chloride. Sodium will go to the cathodes and uh, chloride will go to the anode. Now when the sodium go to the cathodes, eh, okay, what's the chemical reactions that occurs? Okay, so what is the chemical reactions at cathodes? Eh? At cathodes, the sodium ions are discharged to form sodium metals. Uh, sodium ion it will receive electrons eh? it will receive electrons after receiving electrons then it will form sodium metals eh? okay sodium metal this one okay so this uh positive here sodium ions receive electrons and form sodium atom eh? okay so the sodium ions are discharged to form sodium atom that is the uh, chemical reactions at cathodes eh? cathodes so what is the chemical reactions at cathodes? The sodium ions discharge to form sodium metal. Okay, after the sodium metals is formed, okay, sodium metals is formed, Na, yeah? okay, this is sodium metals. Uh. Now at room temperature, sodium, room temperature, this sodium metal is, uh, is solid, uh, is a, is solid, uh, okay, but in this case, because we, we need to heat the sodium chloride until it melts, uh, so the electrolyte here uh, is very, very hot. Okay, At such high temperature, then the sodium metal is also mo in molten form. At room temperature, it's solid, eh? okay? but uh, because this thing is very hot, okay? uh, this electrolyte uh, is very hot, so therefore when sodium form, the sodium will exist, as a, exist in liquid form, which, which is a molten form. So the sodium pro produced is a liquid sodium. It's not a solid sodium. It's liquid sodium. It's liquid is because the electrolyte is very hot. Okay, you can heat it until uh, until the sodium melt. So so due to the high temperature, the sodium metal form is uh, in molten form. Okay, the metal sodium have lower density. Okay, lower density means that if it form, uh, it will f uh, move up. Okay, so therefore it will move upward and being collected. So we have a pipe here to collect the liquid sodium. Eh? So after the sodium discharged, sodium ion discharge becomes sodium atoms, eh? it will form metals and, su and at such high temperature, uh, the metal exists as uh, liquid. And then we have two pipes here to absorb this uh, sodium liquid out. Eh? Okay, then how about the chemical reactions at A nodes? Eh? At A nodes. Now A nodes, uh, there are a lot of chloride ions, right? Okay, chloride ions, and these chloride ions uh, will be discharged. Now, can any of you tell me when uh, chloride ions are discharged, uh, it will uh, release electrons or it will receive electrons? Chloride ions, when they are discharged, they will receive or release electrons. It will release electrons, and that's correct. Uh? So at A notes, the chloride ions are discharged to form chlorine gas, uh, okay? Form chlorine gas. Okay, so this is the equation. So the chloride ions, uh, after discharge, after throw away the two electrons. Okay, if we plus electron on the right hand side, means that we release electrons. Uh, okay, or this uh, the the uh, the ion release electrons. So after releasing electrons, okay, then it will form chlorine gas. Uh, okay, this Cl two is chlorine. Okay, and at such high temperature, it will exist as a gas. Uh, okay, at room temperature also is a gas. Uh, so at A nodes, the chloride ions are discharged by releasing electron and form chlorine gas. Okay. Now chlorine gas is also useful in industry. Yeah? Okay. So therefore, uh, the chlorine gas is then collected. Uh, this gas bubbles uh, we release here, and then this gas is collected. It's, it's collected for uh, other users in industry. Yeah? Uh, that is the chemical reactions at uh, A nodes. Uh, okay, A nodes. The chloride ions will be discharged at cathodes. The sodium ion will be discharged.